Ty, this is Legacy Hall, and there's a lot of your items in here. I see your name there. I see your name over there. Right. What do you remember from that day in December of 1990? <laughs> it was kind of a unique deal because we were in Hawaii getting ready to play a game, so they had a TV monitor set up, and the kind of the special thing about that was usually when you guys are in New York, they only have like their coach and some family members there. And so we were able to have the whole team out there and gathered around. Did they throw you in the pool afterwards? Is <laughs> that did. true? Did yeah. I hear that correctly? Yeah, we uh, had a good celebration. They tossed me in the pool and uh, then we had to go play that night, which wasn't so fun. This has to help probably with recruiting down the line. <laughs> I, I hope know. so. Yeah, <laughs> kids come in and they see the possibilities. I mean, and then they look at me going, well, oh, man, if he can do it, look, you know, it's not that imposing. This was uh, Lavelle's window. So it was tinted still just like that, I think, where you couldn't ever tell if he was in there looking at you walking by or not. <laughs> so you kind of just hurry on by. So we're at Smith Field House. Smith Field House. This used to be the home of all of the football offices. Right. Shirley Johnson. Lavelle's secretary she used to be here. And yeah, this was Lavelle's office here. Right here. Coach Judkins now. How much of an influence has Lavelle been on your coaching career? Ah, he's been a big influence. You know, one of the things when I took the job at St. Andrews in Austin, a uh, little private high school, you know, the team was 0-10, and I said, you know, I called him and said, how did you turn BYU around, you know? And, it wasn't, they weren't great when he took the job and he said, you know, we just focused on the things we did have and not on the things we didn't have. What does this place mean to you? Well, this used to be our indoor practice facility. So um, it used to be like a turf slash carpet. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't say it was really AstroTurf, um, but it was a carpeted turf area that in bad weather, we would come in here and try to get some work done. Do you ever plan on maybe bringing over some of your offensive players just to give them a little trip down memory lane? <laughs> no. Show them what you went through no, we'll in just, your time? We'll let them know. I mean, you don't want to be that guy that's always like, back in my day, <laughs> we had to walk uphill twice there and back. These stairs look dangerous, Ty. Yeah, we dreaded going up these every day and usually you had to make this trek at least once. If you went up on campus having to go up the stairs, you usually stayed up there the rest of the day. Here, it was like the tunnels there, or do I just go up the next 25 steps and push through it, or do I catch my breath walking through the tunnel and then take the next set? I vote we go this on way. On the other side of the tunnel. Some of the teammates one year got a hold of my freshman year in high school picture and they made some Have You Seen Me posters. They, they put pictures Plastered all, it all, all over along, because a lot tunnel. of people have to take this tunnel to get to class. And on the description was bowl haircut, protruding Adam's apple, <laughs> Texas draw. Did you get them back? Eventually, yeah. We had our share of pranks back and forth, so okay. it was good. I put a pig's head in Michael Bryan's bed after a luau. I got the, the rest <laughs> of the pig head. And, Put it on his pillow one night so he came walking in how'd that, that go over uh i think he appreciated it but that takes a lot of effort he never really did lot. anything after that campus has changed a little since i was here but you got kids playgrounds i ought to tell you a little bit about <laughs> byu yeah married students and all of those things so uh, all that's new but it's uh I mean, it's a beautiful campus for sure I noticed that you can go around campus a little incognito because there's students <laughs> wandering around all over the place and no one's recognizing you. Yeah, none of these kids were born when I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> you made this walk many times. <laughs> yeah, it was a good walk. Usually we didn't have the canopy then, but fans would kind of line the sides and get you ready to go. And then we'd all kind of gather and take the field together. The biggest game in this stadium had to be the Miami game. Well, back then, I think. <laughs> I still feel like to this Probably day. It's the only time a number one team's come in. So yeah, it was, it was pretty div pretty big night. You got knocked um, around a lot. Yeah. And you eluded a lot of got pressure. Got my chin split one play. Uh, got some stitches. We could still see still the scar. scars kind of fading over time. Final score? 28-21. Defense played great. So you will never stops. forget that. 
No, people don't let you forget it around <laughs> here either. What about the post-game celebration after that Miami game? <laughs> so, it had to be crazy. It was. I mean, it was the first time the fans, I'd ever seen them charge the field. And I remember thinking, I'm going to get caught out here. It's going to be forever until I can get in the locker room and coach is going to be giving his post-game talk. And so I kind of made my way to the railing there. You left the post-game <laughs> celebration? I, I got on the railing and I shimmied down because it was just a madhouse down here. And I shimmied and I got up and went in the locker room. Oh, and goodness. I was the only one in the locker room. <laughs> What's your ultimate goal now that you're back? I think uh, just, you know, providing a great experience for them. Um, you know, obviously college athletics, you're expected to win games and, but you know, to win games, you got to execute and you got to do the little things right. And you got to teach fundamentals and you got to teach the little things. And so I want our guys to be able to learn those things, learn football and, uh, and understand it. And, and if they can make it to the next level, that's great. But if they don't, you want them to be able to come back and walk in this stadium and remember, you know, Place is dear to your heart, isn't it? You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> and, you know, uh, I get this from my dad, so. Um, so it just means it's important to you. It is. Glad my girls aren't out here. <laughs> He'll be uh, texting my wife. Uh, <laughs> Dad's yeah, crying oh, again. Lost again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just get emotional because it, you know, it was a great experience and such yeah. a big part of your life. It is. Um, and now, you know, I think uh, being back, it's it's kind of it's neat. You know, it's, it's fun, but you also feel that. You know, you, you want guys to be able to have that experience. You, 